a lot of people are finna die, bro. If shit goes down the way it could go down, natural selection will take its course. A lot of people is finna die, bro. So we best just pray and hope that human civilization and the economy stays the way it is. Because only the chosen ones are finna survive, bro. Okay, so boom, right? 2020, they've been hitting us with all type of crazy shit this whole entire year. So at the end of the year, because I'm sure y'all didn't hear, heard about people talking about December 21st at the end of the year. At the end of the year, and I'm not lying, I got the research for y'all. At the end of the year, there's going to be a solar ready to go off on the december solstice we'll be able to witness something humans have not seen in nearly 800 years jupiter and saturn will seem incredibly close to one another looking like one single bright star it's what stargazers called a christmas star or the star of bethlehem although in reality the two planets will be hundreds of millions of miles apart if you want to catch the rare event look to the southwest about 45 minutes after sunset the planets will dip just below horizon at about 7 p.m., so your viewing time will be quick. The two planets will be visible the entire last week of December. The brightest lights in the heaven shines on the first night of the winter solstice this year, and it's bringing a sense of wonder and awe right before Christmas. It's not happened since 1626 and not been seen since the year 1226. Regardless of whether you believe it's the star of Bethlehem, which the Bible mentions, it is undoubtedly going to be quite the sight. This is a terrific thing to look at with binoculars as well. And if it is cloudy on um, the 21st, uh, they're going to be getting closer and closer and closer together over the next three weeks, and they'll still be really close together for a few weeks after that. So if you don't get them right at the close approach, try it on either side when you get some clear skies. It's still going to be a spectacular show. There are 20-year and 400-year cycles, and then there is a huge cycle called the Long Count. It lasts 5,126 years and begins with the creation of the world which the Maya believe occurred on August 11th, 3114 BC. The cycle ends on December 21st, 2012. The calendar is actually wrong. The last date on the calendar was actually 2020. So instead of the world ending on December 21st, 2012, the world will really end on December 21st, 2020. The calendar runs for over 5,000 years and then it abruptly stops on December 21st, on December 21st, on December 21st. Because one day the sun would go out, then all people would begin to die. Such an extremely rapid pole shift on the time scale of ours would be a catastrophe like we've never even thought of. A place like New York could get shifted towards the Arctic and end up completely covered in ice. And a place like Alaska might end up at the equator under the sun. 21st December. So anyway, they have come up with a doomsday date. Each one of them based on the numbers 13 and 20. The numbers 13 and 20. The numbers 13 and 20. Get ready for a winter treat. The best meteor shower of the year is happening this Sunday, December 13th, December 13th, December 13th. Uh, we're under another red flag warning. These Santa Ana winds, they're back in our region. And, you know, recent fires have proven just how dangerous Santa Ana's can be and why we have to be prepared. We're going to have all this new air coming in off the desert, blowing across Southern California and San Diego. And it just aggravates the conditions already in place and makes the fire danger extreme. So if there is a start, the wildfire is going to grow very fast. So this storm system that's going to come down from the north. So this storm system that's going to come down from the north. So this storm system that's going to come down from the north combined with the Santa Ana wind is really going to make that wind strong by late this afternoon near sunset. And then this evening, and it was mentioned before, the winds are going to pick up and become even stronger overnight. So it's going to be a tough night to sleep because you're going to hear things rattling around. Everybody's talking about December 21st, 2020. Ascension time. Get with it or get fucking left, man. Stock up on food. Get a garden. For real. Cause shit going to get real, man. It's going to be three days of fucking darkness. It'll be three days of fucking darkness. Because one day the sun would go out, then all people would begin to die. It'll be three days of fucking darkness. People do not know what's coming December 21st. Sad for that. People won't listen at all. I'm finna just tell you what's gonna, what's gonna happen. There's gonna be a power outage. 
December 21st, there will be a power outage. That means no Wi-Fi, no lights, no video games, no social media. You know, y'all niggas gonna get mad about that. This morning, I got some good downloads on on why the internet is definitely gonna shut down before December 21st. Well, the event of December 21st, you feel me? And shit, I, I started thinking like, this fake messiah return, you feel me? Like, I'm gonna make a whole video about it because it's real serious, you feel me? But I feel like they're definitely gonna be trying to, you know, bring a fake messiah in. And they don't want nobody to have the internet that, around that time. Imagine if we had the internet around that time. We'll literally make memes about the messiah and shit. So. <laughs>